Now the problem with the Patron and Caston 34 ammo box for the MG34 and 42 is that when the box lid is in the open position it takes up the room of another box and the way the lid is hinged there's no provision for the soldier to physically remove the lid in the field and also if the box ever turned upside down the rainwater could seep into where the lid meets the box even though it's got a lip around it because there's no rubber insert on the inside for waterproofing it so this for some reason necessitated the introduction of the the Patron and Caston 41 which was seen to be an improved version over the 34 one now the 41 box takes up exactly the same space it's exactly the same size but on either side of the box there, there's two latch features it's still a hinged box but the latch on that side is set up in such a way that it's fixed where the hinge isn't fully fixed to the box a soldier can use a tool to separate the hinge and make the lid completely removable so if we look at the back you have your 34 box and your 41 box this is the hinge side of both boxes on the 34 box the hinge is riveted there's no provision for it to be removed on this box there is the only place where the lid is attached is by this feature here a soldier can force something down there pry that open and then when this latch is lifted and the other one the lid is completely removable so we'll have a look and other than that both boxes are constructed in a similar manner but when the 34 box is opened the lid stays on the box so an open box takes up the room of two closed boxes now when a 41 box is opened the lid is still attached but it's less it's less attached to its fixings so on that part there a soldier can force something down behind it and pry the lid completely off and that's why on some of these boxes that survive nowadays you very rarely get them without the lids on them now <clears throat> i have no idea as to why the 41 box was properly introduced i don't know there's no proper explanation as to why but the way it latches on that side is the same that's the the lock if you like to lock it down now on both ends of the box you have to maybe wet your finger to see it but on both ends of the box if you wet your finger the designation of the box is stamped there on both sides of the box and it's only on the Patron and Caston 41 you wet your finger and run it along stamped into the metal you have you have the words patra dot cast dot 41 fmg Patron and Caston 41 for machine and gear and that's stamped into both ends of the box another feature that this box has that the 34 box doesn't have inside the 34 box there's no waterproofing at all in order to keep the water out they rely on this lip closing over the box and keeping the water out but when it's upside down it can seep into it the 34 box the, the 41 box rather when you open the 41 box inside this one is the remains of a rubber a rubber liner around the inside so when the box is shut it's fully waterproof also some Patron and Caston 41 boxes were adopted for the other things other than an ammo box they can be used as maintenance boxes spare part boxes and this one is actually factory fitted with three inserts 
numbered 321 so if we take these out these aren't field made they're properly factory made so you have three steel trays numbered three and in there you have numbered two and you have one in the bottom numbered one which I think that's going to be a bit too fiddly to get out Oh, it's going. Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes. Yes. So this one's been factory fitted with three trays. Don't know why, but there you are. So that's how some of them come. But some come fitted for ammunition. Three, two, and one. So this one, at some point, as well as being an ammo box, as to what it was constructed for, for belts, it's also been used as maybe a spare parts box because it's also got I mean this 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 is the original German grey paint but it's also got on it remains of a white stripe which usually indicates it's a box for something other than ammunition so this ammo box is being converted into a spare parts box you also get some of them painted with a red cross for medical use as well so that's a Patron and Custom 41 box now I can only assume these were introduced for use in maybe armoured cars or tanks or things like that you do you do find those battlefield relics from Berlin to Normandy so they were used in frontline combat service but why that one was introduced and replaced for that one I don't know but in all the war movies, you see the 34 one being used. You never see the 41 being used. But that's just another variation of the box. Ammo box for MG34, MG42. The Patron and Kasten 41. This one in the original German colour. And it's been used as a spare parts box, as I say. Um, and on, on the end, you have always have on these Patra Cast 41 FMG. It's on that side and not as clear but it is on that side it's a steel box in this case painted german field grey with a white stripe that white stripe's original to it which indicates its use as a, a spare parts box but originally a patron and custom 41 belt box as i said the lid on that one it's waterproof and it is removable because on the back side that's really the only place where it's connected to the actual box and but this bit at the top isn't fixed to the box so that's that's got a gap down it so you could force something in there open that up and take the ammo box off fully if you needed to do so whereas the way that's fitted it's riveted and you can't get the lid off so the Patron and Kasten 41 ammunition box they do turn up for sale and if you see one that's what they are